Hi, this is Anita Stone, your video fitness coach. I was so glad that my friend posted her fruit plate that she prepared for breakfast this morning on our challenge page because as I'm looking at that fruit plate, I'm thinking that is so beautiful and she even put cinnamon on top, which of course cinnamon is good for sugar metabolism and so that was a great addition, but I said, oh no, you can't have that much fruit for breakfast and here's the reason why. When you wake up in the morning, you're, you haven't eaten for 10, 12 hours probably, hopefully 10, 10 hours at least. And so your blood sugar is just next to zero because you haven't eaten. And so when you eat that much fruit, if you ate one piece of fruit, that'd be different. But her plate was about five servings of fruit. So if you eat that much fruit, what fruit is to your body is just sugar a little bit of fiber, a little bit of vitamins, of course, a little bit of water, but that sugar is going to go straight to your bloodstream and it's going to be too much. And so you have to slow down the sugar digestion. So the better thing for breakfast would be one fruit or maybe two, but you need to add a protein shake to that. You need to add some protein, maybe uh, even put in some, some extra fiber in your shake. And so that's something that you can do to if you just want fruit for breakfast. Now even better than that would be half fruits and half vegetables. And so what we're talking about, for those of you who don't know what our challenge group is about, we're talking about our day one and day two all fruits and veggies days. And this is just for a little bit of cleansing. And also num reason number two is I hope that you'll try some fruits and vegetables that you don't eat very often. I noticed that she had kiwi on her plate. Well, that's probably not a fruit that you buy all the time. And so she probably bought that, especially for her two days of eating fruits and vegetables. And that's exactly what I want you to do. But you just have to remember this. Uh, your bloodstream can only handle so much sugar at a time. When you put a lot of sugar in it, then your body has to release insulin to bring the sugar back down. And that's what we don't want. And so, um, what you can do is you could have eaten one serving of that, of that fruit on that plate, maybe have a protein shake with it or even a little bit later, and then later on have another serving of the fruit but maybe have some vegetables with it like cucumber or something like that. And so I was so happy that she did that this morning so that I could take a chance to talk to you about sugar in your bloodstream because this is one of the problems that we've had with the metabolic syndrome. People have, this is what happens, and this is happening just uh, to thousands of people every day, probably millions in America, is that they are killing their pancreas. Your pancreas is what secretes insulin. And so you eat a whole lot of sugar or drink a big 32 ounce Coke or something like that, all that sugar goes into your bloodstream, your body has to release insulin to bring the sugar down, and then an hour later they do it again. So you load up your bloodstream with sugar and then insulin is released and it takes it down. So all day long the pancreas is being um, taxed and that's not what your body, your body was meant to release insulin if it does get too much sugar in the bloodstream but that's, that's not the cycle that we want all day long and that's going to kill your metabolism. It's called metabolic syndrome and you can look that up on Google. So thanks a lot for posting that picture that's going to help a lot of the people in our challenge group. And thanks for listening. Watch out for your homework for tomorrow on the challenge page. Bye-bye.